everybody, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Thanks for being with me. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. That's right. That's where I appraise your object live. And um, I hope you'll sign up for my newsletter. I say that all the time. Why? Because if you missed my newsletter, the last newsletter announced that I was giving free appraisals in Pittsburgh during one of my live events. And I do travel the country doing live events all over. Yes, I will come to your city too. Um, but basically, if you didn't sign up for the newsletter, then you missed out on learning where you can get a free appraisal at one of my live events. And a lot of people just came and took a picture and had coffee and enjoyed just sort of meeting each other. It was fun. Um, great event there in Pittsburgh. So sign up for the newsletter. It's easy to do at drlaurieb.com. Guests are here from all over. And, you know, uh, I've had some comments that I want to talk with you about. I want to know your um, I want to know your input on some stuff that's going on about these live streams that I've been doing. Um, been working hard on them, and but I have some questions for you. But before we get to that, I'm going to get to our guests, and I'll come back and and follow up with that in a little while. So my guests are here. I'm going to praise their objects. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what anybody has. I'm looking at these pieces for the first time the way you are. For those of you who say, can't you put up another, uh, some other picture of that object? Well, I don't know what's coming, so I can't give you some picture of something I don't know. Well, anyway, we've got, um, we've got a piece that looks like a piece of glass. We've got a necklace, and we've got what might be some bracelets. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look at those bracelets. They're kind of brown, and they're yellow, and it looks like... Louis Vuitton. Looks like it might be Louis Vuitton. It looks like it might be with Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, how you doing? Good, how you doing? What's happening? How'd you acquire these? I was I I went to two sales today. I had the best time of my life. I got Hattie Carnegie. I got Louis Vuitton. These wow. cost these cost me a buck a piece. Oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, it's not amazing because I show you on Real Bargains. All of you folks who are watching Real Bargains, you know that that's not all that amazing. But those are beautiful. I'm a little confused on what, oh, that's your hand. Okay, that's your hand. Oh, yeah, I was trying to get on. you something white. I got it. So you gave me something white so we can see, of course, the composite. You can see the Louis Vuitton. Of course, you see that very nice prominent logo right there. Let's talk about the list. I always give you the list so you can learn what to do. For those of you who have been in my classes, you know that I like lists because why? This is how our brain remembers things. So first thing you want to see is a nice prominent Louis Vuitton logo. You want to also see a, a consistent and repeated pattern, right? And this, these particular pieces are nice bangles. They look like they're in very good condition. And also the other thing you're looking at are spattering of metallics. Right. So you've got some metal look, right? That gold look, that bronze look, that copper look throughout and the see through element of these particular pieces. Any other mark other than the prominent Louis Vuitton uh, logo? No, I didn't see anything on the inside, the VLs the inside. all the way around it. OK, that's that's not un uncharacteristic of them either. So tell me what happened. You went to the estates. They'll tell me what happened. Well, I was, they had a dollar for all the jewelry. So I got some Trafari and I got some Monet and I got some uh, Swarovski and I mean, it was crazy. So somebody and they had had no, a, no idea. Right? My hair no was idea. in my face and they had a box of barrettes. So I got a box of barrettes and when I got home, I found these. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, where am I at? Oh, there there I you am. go. Oh, Those my are God. too. Those cost me 50 cents each. Oh, my God. <laughs> they were a better deal. <laughs> well, Elaine, I just gave you the list. If you were paying attention, Elaine, how do I know that the bracelets are genuine? I just gave you the list of what you look for. You look for the prominent logo. You look for the see-through nature of the composite. You look for the metallics. You look for the repeated patterns. I'll repeat myself, but, you know, a lot of you are going, oh, you know, Dr. Lori, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm telling you, all you have to do is watch and you know, later you can rewatch, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with hitting the rewind button and watching another video over. People do that all the time. And, you know, we know Mary's had a lot of success for a lot of reasons. Value on each one, about $300 for each one. No way. That's a score. That's a, that's score. a real bargain. That's a real bargain. <laughs> you got it, kiddo. So tell me, you know, tell me now you have a group because I saw the barrettes and I saw Now I'm just looking at the bangles. So you've got a group together. I've been talking about teach. I've been teaching and of course, and talking to my students. All of you could be students. All you have to do is sign up for the classes. Talking to them about, of course, how to sell your old stuff for profit. 
whether you're decluttering, downsizing, or you want to be a reseller. But this example is very good. I would not sell that group of Louis Vuitton pieces together. I would sell them individually. Right, Mary? Yeah, the colors are the, the colors don't jive. You know, yes. they don't yes. they don't look good together. Yeah. So, but and that plus, red barrette looks really good on me. It looked good on you too. So I'm thinking that might be a keeper. <laughs> well, that might be a keeper. You know, you got to keep something for yourself too. So yeah. that's great. Mary, thanks so much. Good to see you. 300 Thank bucks you. for the Louis Vuitton for dollar. It's a real bargain. And I'll be talking to you about that one. That's a beautiful, that's beautiful. But it's good to see all of you. Thanks for being with me. And I do want to bring up a topic that might be a little bit, you know, something that I'd like you guys to comment on if you would. I'm getting a lot of comments about the live streams and I'm getting people who are saying I'm rude. A lot of people think I'm rude because I'm straightforward. Some people think that me saying I'm straightforward is still rude. So I don't know. Being honest is never rude in my book. I'm being honest. There it is. Um, then there are some people who are saying we really don't like this, the live streams because we don't think that your guests are able to actually um, abide, go by your rules and, and base, not rules, but basically make it interesting and visually interesting. They can't hold a camera. They can't use their device. They're not really sure. Their light's bad, all of this stuff. So people are saying that. And other people are saying that I'm rude and trying to move people through the live streams because, you know, I'm trying to go too fast and they really can't do it and they're trying their best. So some people are saying that. And a lot of people have a lot of comments. I want to know what you think, because when I hear all of this, some people think it's great and some people think it's lousy. When I hear those types of things, I start to think, why am I doing this? Should I continue doing this? So then I start to say, well, maybe giving free appraisals in a live stream environment is not really what our community wants. Then I think, well, maybe it is what our community wants. So I think that, you know, I need to know what the re all of you want. So if you have want to weigh in on this, I'd like to know. So, so Bria says, you know, don't visit if you don't want to be here. Okay. So you say it's my channel. Don't be rude. Well, I'm trying to engage all of you. Right. And I'm seeing that what's happening is a lot of you are saying, well, I'm not going to watch it because it upsets me because either I think Dr. Lori's rude or I think that the guests don't know what they're doing with their devices. I mean, I don't know. But I want to know what you guys think, because I think this conversation is important to have before a decision is made, because the conversation here is now starting to be, well, should Dr. Lori do this? So um, the sweet words aren't always true. Continue to be you. Well, that's an interesting way to put it. Um, but basically I like to be honest because I have been honest in this for always. And I think that you, well, my humor, either you get the humor or you don't get the humor. That's one thing. Am I going to defend myself? I really don't feel like I have to defend myself. And here's why I don't feel like I have to defend myself. I give a lot and I'm happy to do it. And I give a lot. That's not only just the information, but also of course, all of the other financial backing that comes with doing all of this. Um, I appreciate it. And those of you who are saying, no, I really think that we can keep it. You know, I really like the live streams. Then I want to hear that. But those of you who say, no, I don't really get a lot out of the live streams. I want to hear that. Um, I want to hear all of it because I want to be able to make an intelligent decision of whether or not it's going to be continued. So that's really where we are. Um, you know, I am not seeing a lot of the uh, movement in terms of views. I'm not seeing um, of enough um, you know, expansion, right? That kind of thing. Um, and Mary, thank you very much for supporting it. Um, it's, you know, I, I really appreciate all of the support that all of you give. And if you really have gotten something out of the channel and, and think you will continue to get something out, I know a lot of you have been able to, in fact, um, you know, actually make a lot of money with the information. Information like, you know, real bargains, what's a spot at the, at the thrift store, or of course, um, elements like um, the thrift store shopping list. Here are the names that you really shouldn't overlook, that kind of thing. So, you know, and Karen, thank you, Karen. I still learn a lot from you when I grew up in the antiques business. So, you know, I want to make sure that I'm able to give this information, but I will, I will, I really am starting to think, well, if there's so many cr criticism, if there's so much criticism out there, well, you know, so, and I appreciate, and I appreciate all of you supporting the channel and I need to see some support. So I appreciate you doing this in any way that you can. If, if you support by watching, if you support by sharing on your social media or telling somebody about it, or you want a new t-shirt, or you're going to give a gift certificate 
for an appraisal for a holiday gift, or you're going to do something, you know, I would appreciate that. And also because I want to continue to do this to help all of you. But if I keep hearing you're rude, you're nasty, you're this, my, I, I can't believe your guests, they can't do anything. Oh my goodness. Well, they're trying to. So, um, and as for me rushing, a lot of you are saying, well, you're rushing. I just try to get through as many as I can so I can teach you as much as I can in a short amount of time. So there's that. But, uh, and the live stream is live. A lot of people don't realize that the live stream is live. You know, I'm not, you know, it's not taped and then edited and then changed and all of this. It's live. It's what happens now. So, and Liz, I appreciate that because this really is an important issue for me. And it's becoming an issue that I'm getting a little sick of. Okay. And you know how women are, women like me, you know, I'm a little impatient in my personality. I am far from perfect. And I've said that many times. I'm getting to the point where now I have to go, all right, I'm making a decision about this because I'm hearing all of this. So if you enjoy the expertise and, you know, yes, it is, you know, provided to you guys. Um, if you like the expertise and you want to know what's what, I want to know what you think. That's why I'm asking you to, in the comments, tell me what you think. And it doesn't have to be positive. If you think it's, it's negative, you know, I want to hear the truth. I want to hear the truth. But those of you who are saying, oh my gosh, thank you, Angela. I appreciate that. And for those of you who are now saying, oh, she's going to thank everybody who's giving her super chats and super tickets. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because there is an aspect of, yes, it's my channel. There is an aspect of that. So, and I do appreciate that. So, and Cindy, thank you very much. Cindy, one of the many people in, in my classes often. A lot of you, I hope, are getting a lot of... Um, a lot out of that. Thank you very much, Roro. I appreciate this. I'm trying not to change a thing, but I want to change the things that you want changed, but I can't get too far afield, you know, from what I really am. So, uh, Betty Boop, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate all of that, but I, sometimes you have to just go, okay, I need to hear what's what. And again, those of you who say, no, you know, I don't mind the negative or I don't really like the negative. You know, the rants and raves are very, very popular. A lot of you want to hear what's behind the scenes. So I'm telling you what's actually happening in that impacts you, that impacts your business, that impacts your thrifting, that impacts your fun. Because so many of you, you know, I was in the class last night and so many of you were saying, hey, Dr. Lori, this is fun because I get not only to have you learning from you, but I have all of these other, you know, like-minded fellow students, fellow followers. So there's that. So you've been told that you were brutally honest too. I mean, I don't know if I'm brutally honest. I mean, I'm I'm honest. I try not to say the bad things that I might be thinking because I'm not going to sit here like I don't think bad things. I mean, I think what everybody thinks. I'm a normal human being, person. So there's that. And I want to clue you in more of what I'm doing day, day to day. Um, I think a lot of you are telling me, hey, we want to know a little bit more of that too. Elizabeth, thank you very much. You know, and I appreciate hearing that. Yeah. I mean, some people are saying, you know, the fact that we're doing the free, I offer lots of free things. That's why I want you to sign up for the newsletter. So you don't miss something. So you don't miss something. So, you know, I appreciate that too. And again, I'm not saying that you have to do, you know, a, a major, anything major. I'm saying, I want to know what you're thinking because the folks who are, who are saying, you know, there's certain ones that are trolls that are obviously trolls. Okay, fine. So there are those people who, you know, no one listens to. Melanie, thank you very much. And any amount of support is support. But the idea that you're all just kind of going, oh, well, we're not really sure, makes me start to think, well, maybe they just don't care. Maybe they just don't want it. They just don't care. You know, um, so that's basically what we're saying. What's different, what's different from how you give live free appraisals versus how other YouTubers video at thrift stores and such, and give values on what they find. I don't, I do know your answer. I, I hope you keep it going. Well, Diana, thank you for that. I'm trying to understand what you mean by this. Comparing me to other YouTubers who are thrifting is a little bit different only because most, I don't know every single one of them, but most of them that I've seen or have had the opportunity to see um, are not giving, you know, what should you look for? Here's the appraisals. It's more of, here's an object. Let's look at an object. That's what I've seen. I'm not saying, you know, people might like it, whatever it is. And you guys might have a better sense of this than I do. But I have a pretty good sense of what's going on in the world, um, especially the world that impacts me. I will say there's nothing else on YouTube that's like this. Live streams, free appraisals, PhD, 25 years of experience as an appraiser, museum experience as well to help you. So nothing else like that going on. And maybe that's one of the reasons why, you know, we have to continue to try to expand. 
So any way you can support, I would appreciate it. I'm happy my guests are here. I'm happy all of you are here, but I want to hear the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay. So if there's something you don't like, I want to hear it. If there's something you do like, I want to hear it. And I need to see the show of support. So I, and I, and again, the conversations are going on and they're going into a direction that, that may be, well, maybe we're not doing this anymore, but I've got to really see if that's the case. So I need your input. So I can, in fact, you know, say to the others that have this conversation with me, what do we do? What do we do? You know, so I appreciate that. Becky, thank you very much. And I appreciate folks like Becky and many of the rest of you who support and say, you know, I like the community. I want to be in your classes. I want to take them. You're keeping them nice and low in terms of cost. Um, there's a lot of information. You know, the, the classes create a, a great opportunity as well. So if that's the case, then you all like the live stream. I want to see more of you on the live stream. I want to see, of course, those plain backgrounds and an object that you want to know more about, you know, as, as best you can. You know, and I know you can do this. It's easy. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, JJ. I appreciate that. You know, I think it's an example of the East Coast, but I also don't think it's an example of the East Coast because, yes, I'm from Connecticut. And, yes, I talk a little faster than everybody else. And, yes, I'm a little bit impatient. But I don't know if that's only that. I need a hot guy co-host. I could use a hot guy just generally as a co-host, right? <laughs> we need more hot guys, more hot girls, more hot right people. So thank you very much. And maybe that's the thing. You need a hot guy. So maybe more of you will say, oh, you know, I'll watch more Dr. Lori because I can watch the hot guy. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Um, but I, I will say that in, in large part, they think it's, oh, oh, it's the East Coast and East Coast. But, you know, they love me in Fort Wayne. <laughs> And they love me in Houston and they love me in San Jose and they love me in the, you know, um, in the north, in the in the middle of the states, in the in the north, you know, in Montana. So I sit there and I just go, eh, you know, I and thank you, Jennifer. I'm not on the East Coast. I get her universe now. Thank you. But but I don't think Kim's I don't think it might have been Kim who said this, but I don't think Kim's wrong in assuming that. Yeah, maybe it's just a regional thing, but I've been. Uh, a I've been nationally respected and also embraced in many, many, many ways, media, as well as live in person stage shows for many years. And I don't think it's only that. So, oh, I would be good in the in the in the Oval Office. I would like that. I think we need to de redecorate those two couches. That always bothers me, those two couches in the Oval Office. But I would be president. It could be fun. <laughs> right. Why not? I mean, I don't know. I love Fort Worth. Anyway, I love all of you. I want to know what you think. That's what I want. And that's why I even bring it up. Because normally, I wouldn't bring it up. I'd leave it to a rant and rave. But it got so prevalent today that I thought to myself, well, you know what? I'm going to ask these people because these are the people it's going to impact. So if you want to show your support, you can do it throughout this particular, of course, uh, Ask Dr. Lori Live. My guests are here from all over. Thank you very much, Lori. I appreciate that. Yeah, I know. I know. That's probably true. Lori has a good point. Some people like the opportunity to say the bad stuff. But you know what? I'm hearing it from both sides and I really want to make a good decision, but it might, the decision might be, Hey, you know what? Enough respect for it. We're not doing it, but I'm hoping that that's not the case, but I don't know what the answer will be. I do appreciate the support for all of you. And those of you who are, are learning things, I want to know that you're learning stuff and having fun. It doesn't only have to be about learning and writing it down and knowing all this. I want to know, I want you to know what to be looking for. I want you to know how to identify quality and recognize it. You know, I spoke with a young woman today on a video call. She spent a couple hundred dollars on a painting that's worth more than $10,000. <laughs> Why? Because she knew what to look for. I taught her about it. This is what I like. So, um, hi, Joseph. Um, yes. I mean, whose feelings did I hurt? I don't know whose feelings I've hurt, but a lot of people have a lot of not so nice things to say about this and me. And, you know, I'm going to take it for a little bit longer and then something's going to have to go. So we're going to have to figure that out. But I don't really want to uh, see it as a us against them kind of thing. But I'm getting to the point now where I'm trying to help all of you. I want you to see whether or not you want me to continue or you want me to do something else. You know, a great video was put out on Glidden Pottery uh, recently. That's one of the things that I appreciate, too, that you guys are thinking about me as a person. Because I think a lot of th people think about me as a walking encyclopedia and not a person. I'm a little bit of a walking encyclopedia, <laughs> but I'm a more of a person too. So, but my guests are here from all over, and that we if, if it seems like many of you want us to continue this and let's see where this goes. So um, we'll take out. I'll, I'll look at some objects and see what we've got. The objects on the table all relate to a couple of different things: uh, so, some Coca-Cola pieces and some metals in general. Um, 
uh, a couple of, of fun fig pins that um, I like to wear every once in a while. I have a few of those and those are fun for brooches, but my guests are here and you're here and support I see and love I see and I appreciate that and I care about all of you. So guests are here with all their objects. We're going to see what they've got from all over. Um, and I do like to hear your comments. If I don't see your comments and I'm thinking, what are they doing? Are they out here? Are they enjoying this? What's happening? So we've got this necklace with a nice big smile, which I like. <laughs> and we've got, I don't know, I'm looking at a pink shirt and maybe a painting, but I can't see the whole painting. I do appreciate the, the backgrounds that are that are plain, free of anything, you know, no baby pictures, no family albums in the back of you, you know, no whiteboards with things to do, nothing. So it's great to have the clear. It's really album. big. It's really big. So you're trying to get it all in and it's kind of big. That might that might warrant a video call. Let the the idea, of course, of this. Um, oval format is really quite nice and quite typical of the Victorian era. We're looking at, I'm looking at the cherubs, which are quite nice too, in what looks like a medallion that looks almost like it's wall art that could be metallic. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, Carmen, and I'm calling from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Hi, Carmen. So on the back, is this oil on canvas? It's a board. So it's oil on board. Okay. All right. So first of all, I like the painting. Let's take a look at the painting. Oh. I like the painting, but I have to say that I like the frame better than the painting. The frame is so cool. The frame is very, very beautiful. The painting is quite nice, probably early 20th century. Is the, paint, is the painting signed and numbered? No, no. Okay. So I would say that that particular piece probably is, in fact, um, a piece that comes out of France. It's really hard to see. Uh, probably mm -hmm. comes out of France. The format is something that's been cut down over time, and that has been placed into a frame that was intended for a um, mirror. How did you acquire it? Uh, uh, the Restore Habitat Humanity, Habitat okay. for Humanity Restore. Habitat for Humanity, a lot of people don't realize that um, rather than some of the other thrift stores, Habitat for Humanity does usually I go to all of them. Relatively interesting pieces. Uh -huh. um, I've seen some pieces that I would never expect to be in any thrift store end up at a Habitat for Humanity, particularly architectural salvage. This piece is a marriage, didn't intend to be in that, that size or shape frame. I would say value on the painting, about $100 value on the frame, which is also French. I would probably put $300 on that frame. Nice. Thank nice. you. My pleasure. Nice to see you. I don't ever want you to stop doing this. It's so much fun. Well, it's 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 nerve it's nerve wracking for me holding my arms aren't long enough most of the time and but you do a great job and we really I mean as a community of Dr. Lori people we love you and thank you. So. Well, I appreciate that very much. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you to to show me that love and I'm gonna tell you to show me that love in this way. Watch more. Tell more people about it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Sign up for that newsletter because I got to be able to get the information to you. But thank you. Thank you. That's great. So Arkansas in the house. There you go. But uh, a night, uh, uh, very nice pieces. I know you all have nice pieces. I know you want to show them to me. So let's see what else we've got. Hi, Lori. Lori is one of the one of the many many of you who support all the time, and I appreciate that very much. And thank you very much for that. And when I see certain faces, I just go, oh, yay. You know, and then when there are some faces that I think, well, you know, hopefully that person will understand where, where this comes from, where the information comes from and why I want to do this and why I think it can be very helpful, many of you. And I've heard wonderful stories too. People who have said, you know, Dr. Lori, I had this terrible tragedy in my life or that terrible tragedy in my life. I lost a child. I lost a husband. I lost a wife. I lost a partner. I, this happened, that happened. And and these particular videos and learning this new way to think about objects and shop for objects and maybe even start a new business or downsize in a time when I really didn't expect to have to downsize and declutter. I thought I would be doing something else in this part of my life. And this has helped me. So I hear that and I go, great, it's fine. I'm doing this, it's fine, great. And, and then I hear somebody else who may or may not be a troll who says something horrible, awful about me, not even knowing me, and I think, oh, but it is getting harder when I hear these types of things. So I want to know from those of you who, I mean, I care about all of you, but from those of you who I care about to say, hey, do you really want to do this? So, okay, well, we'll see where this goes. But 
uh, the conversations are getting a little bit difficult and I don't, I don't want that. So I want to know what you guys think. I want to put it out to you. So you got to tell me what you think. My guests are here. That's what I think. Let's see what they've got. <laughs> hi, Dr. Uh, Lori. <laughs> hi, how are you? Mary and I spoke earlier today on a video call. How'd that go, Mary? It was great. It was great. I was so happy to see you. I was so happy. happy to see you too. Happy to see and you too. Learned and a lot. And sometimes life gets in the way, right? So you kind of have time to, to cut back to all of this. So what have you got here, Mary? Okay. So I have, I've had it for a little while. Um, it's a, it's marked on the bottom and it says, whoops, sorry. It's a Weller original. Oh yeah. Okay. Go back up for me. Okay. Up. There you go. Oops, now there put we... that right there. Stay right there. I'm sorry. That's in front of your face. Not really no, it's in, front okay. of, in front of your forehead, really. Um, and it looks like it's a Weller original. And do you see all the little up and down? So this is for smokers, ashtray, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you not know that? No, I had no, I've never seen a Weller like this. So I was like, what are these ridges all for? I had no clue. No clue. Right. So you sit it on the middle of the, of the table. It's 1965. It's 1970. It's about that time of the world in the world. And it sits in the middle of your coffee table and everybody at the little dinner party can put their cigarettes there. Oh my God. Make okay. sense? I mean, this is like, this is hardcore smoking. This isn't like, oh, yeah, that, grab the bar. That, it's like, pretty, I, you know, it, it's a nice size. So that's a lot of cigarettes. That's, it's a nice yeah. size, but that's a lot of cigarettes. That's for, we're having a party, we're entertaining and everybody smokes. That's the sixties, yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, you can see sort of Jackie Kennedy and, and those folks, oh, everybody mm -hmm. smoking. Right. Notice, of course, the eyes at the bottom when you're looking at Weller, particularly Weller Originals, you're looking for hand painting. You're looking usually for a light colored background. So the ceramic is usually white or beige or gray, but light in color. Mm -hmm. You're looking for uh, feet that are part of the overall design. Notice mm -hmm. organic designs in the 1940s, 50s, 60s. Organic designs, di designs that are shaped like plants, designs mm -hmm. that are shaped like organic mm -hmm. forms, vegetables, mm -hmm. that kind of thing, rounded, mm -hmm. curved, that kind of thing. And then you're also seeing, of course, the kind of spaceshipy kind of look, right? Yeah. Like you put it down, it kind of has that kind of late 1950s, 60s Sputnik kind of, oh, it looks like a spaceship. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, or like one of those, those oh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, was that what it was? Where they were basically eating, the plant was eating you. You remember those? Oh, uh, Little Shop of Horrors? Maybe? Yeah, I mean, it was Little Rocky Horror too, I think, yes. I get those mixed up. But anyway, so there was that. And it's kind of like, you know, the, those those particular plants. Anyway, yeah. that's the idea. And this idea okay. actually comes out of abstract expressionism. I won't start talking about my books, but abstract expressionism themes have to do with nature. One of my books is about that. But I would say value on this piece. How much, how'd you acquire it? I won it at auction for, I think it was $20. Well, that was very good for $20. It's probably worth closer to 85. Oh, okay, good. So you did pretty well. Maybe you pay, you know, you've got like four times what it's worth, a little more yeah. than four times what it's worth. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. Oh, good. All Thank my you. values are based on actual sales records. You're welcome, Mary. It's always good to see you. Good I'd love to see, to see all too. of you. Make Don't sure leave us. And mwah, share, the, share us. the wealth. Make sure you I will. share the videos. One Thank of the you. things that I noticed that you're not doing, you guys, those of you who are on Facebook, you're just like, you're not even looking at the pictures, you're not looking at the videos. You're just going right to, oh, I'm going to make a comment. It's fine. Great. I want you to make a comment. I want you to talk to me, but watch the videos for goodness sake. That's why we put them up. Right. Carmen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carmen from hot springs. It's nice to see you. I appreciate that. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate you just being here too, but I, I do need to know what do you want to do about these? Because, you know, I'm getting mixed signals now and you know, we got to We got to straighten stuff out. Okay. Anyway. Um, the, oh, you're rude, oh, you're this, oh, you're that. I think people don't get me at all. And the people who do get me are the ones who really get me, you know, are the ones who go, this, this woman is doing this for us. So, you know, and again, I'm not a martyr. I, I mean, I do things for myself too, but still. Anyway, for example, I went and got my hair done. I know you all love the hair. So we, we didn't really, I don't know if we did anything good about the hair or not. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still trying to deal with all of that. I'm not good at the whole fashion, vanity. What should you wear? What do you look like? I was never good at that. So I ask all of you those questions all the time to see about clothes and hair. Anyway, uh, tonight is complimentary color night. Uh, if you don't know what the, comp the law of compliments are, they're when certain color pairs attract the optic nerve. So purple and yellow is one of those pairs. And I've been told that I look good in plum. So here I am in plum. <laughs> I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD antiques appraiser. It's good to be with all of you. My guests are here from all over. Let's see what they've got. 
Well, that looks like it might be a music box. And it might be German, and it looks like it's wooden. Okay. And then I've got a nice smile. I love the smiles. And then That's I've got right. a purple <laughs> beaded necklace, and I've got a piece of glass, but kind of difficult to see. Um, might need to get a little closer, or maybe it's the light in the background. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Can you hear me? I can hear you. What's your name? I'm Bethany. Hi, Bethany. Nice to see you. Thank you. All right. So how did you acquire this piece? It looks like it's small glass beads, and then it's also some larger glass beads that are also held together as a station necklace. You know the station necklaces? Yeah. It's like a depot. Each bead is a depot kind of thing. A station yeah. necklace um, with some silver link, uh, metal, silver metal links in between. So is this all continuous? So here's the class. Okay, so it's three strands individually. Three they are strands. all, they, I see the clasp, okay. They are all in fact um, beaded all the way and there's three strands. Does it hit like, this is This is probably, I don't know, this is like 30 inches, I guess. So it's is 16 it- 16 inches. How many? 16. Oh, 16 inches, so it's up here. Uh, yes. Yeah, 16 inches. Okay, how'd you acquire it? Have you been thrifting? I went to an estate sale and I got it with a bunch of other things. Okay, I like it. Um, I know that you, I'm thinking that you and your sister are starting a business together of, of course, reselling. Is that the case? Sort of. We're each doing our own thing, but we're doing it together. Okay. You <laughs> that, that sounds like sisters. We're teaching we're each other. Together, but we... Right. I didn't hear you. We're teaching each other. That's great. That's great. And I appreciate you participating in the classes. I hope they're helpful. Very helpful. We're learning a lot. Okay. I have a question about this. Sure. The clasp says 925. Mm -hmm. But the um, the beads, I wondered, there's like gold swirls. And I wondered if it might be Murano. Well, I will say that the beads do look like they are Italian beads. The very small beads are not Italian beads. Right. Um, and the reason why they would say 925, and you can probably answer this for yourself. Why don't you back up a little bit? I see that. Everybody sees that gold, that gold element within the bead itself. But I would say that, and try not to keep, try to stop moving. There we are. Okay. So a couple of things. There is a gold element that you can see in, of course, the blown glass bead. You can yes. see sort of the pink and the purple. And now the color's been a little bit uh, changed because she put a different color behind it and she's in a different part of the light. But they read more like a purpley red. And then the part that is, in fact, 925, of course, is those little chains, right? So I think what's yes. happened here is one of those chains actually is the original uh, primary chain with the big beads on it. And then the secondary beads have been added to it, those other two strands. Um, how much did you pay for it, Bethany? So I got it in a lot of many, many things that I haven't really gone through it much, but I paid $100 for the lot. But it was big, many, many, many things in it. So would you say you paid $3 for this? Maybe. Yeah, probably not too much. And a lot of you are doing that. I would say value on that piece at 16 inches is going to be just about $50 or about half, half of what you paid for that whole lot. Great. That's wonderful. It, that is wonderful. So Thank keep up the keep up the good work. Make sure that you use the binge link. And for those of you who don't know how to get to the binge link, the binge link is on the specials and shop page at drlaurieV.com. Scroll down, you'll see a big red button that says binge link. And you, of course, can utilize that right there. So the binge link is what you can uh, look for and you can save it and you can go back to it. So you can binge all of the videos that we have. I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you next time.